Hey, welcome back to our video for our superhero creator. We're going to add in this video a very short control. It's just a number picker. So let's put in a label and the number picker. So the control name we're looking for is this one here called numeric up down. So it works just like any other data input except it provides you with uh, little arrows on the end. And so you can either type in a number or select it from the arrows. So I'm going to rename this thing as num year experience. Okay, this should be pretty easy to update. You can probably do this one without watching the rest of it. I just want to add an integer to my data set. So you can see as soon as I try to assign this number to uh, an integer, it says uh, we cannot explicitly convert a decimal to an integer. So just think, we could have typed in a decimal like 0.3 years experience, which would be co completely valid. So maybe instead of storing years experience as an integer, let's put in a decimal. All right, then we add up the status message to have an extra thing with years experience. All right, let's pick a number here. Let's do five and put a decimal six and click Create the Hero. You can see down at the bottom it says Years Experience is 5.6. I'm going to add a new feature here just as I need some uh, readability improvements. So every time I want to start a new line in my message box, I can put in the backslash n, and that will just start on a new, new par uh, not a new paragraph, but a new line. And so whenever I get to a new subject, I'm going to put in a slash n. So for instance, your hero works in these cities, and now we go to your travel. And let's see. All right, so you can see that I've put in slash n for almost all of the new features. Let's see what that looks like when I do a dialog box. So it's much easier to read now. You can see that the uh, messages are all lined up on the left. So we got years experience done, and next we're going to work on some colors, and we'll use a color picker. 